Hi, welcome back to Shady Game. What the fuck is on your head? Hi, I'm Craven. Bitch, no. <laughs> Bitch, no. Friend of the show. Okay, fun fact. I got this at... Since, you, controllers on since you stole my fucking glass. At Verse Fest in New Bronzeville, Texas, where Craven and I were supposed to hang out, but then he uh, couldn't make it. Well, you gotta remember how fucking hectic those things are. I couldn't even find my sister at uh, Renaissance. Fest. God, it was it was so fucking. It was even worse than that. It was assholes of dildos, as my mom would say. <laughs> but yeah, that's where Cra Mr. Craven got his hat from, and he says, "Oh yeah, that's where I got mine too." And I'm like, "Okay, I'll check out the shops while I'm here." So Coming for your gigs, Craven. No, don't. It, th for the one quarter of you who aren't already subscribed to Mr. Craven, subscribe to youtube.com forward slash Mr. Craven. M-R-K-R-A-V-I-N. Almost. Isn't it V-N? V-I-N. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but almost a quarter of our fucking viewers know who Craven is. I'll put a link in the description. Or even if you don't. Not that he, he has Google. He, and it comes up, but this one over here thinks he's some type www.youtube.com. Like Mr. It's like, just you, you know, I almost all going to comment and. He... Alright, so anyway, I'm Lucy McGillicanti, that's Liam, and oh, we're playing. You guess show. I've changed in the middle of the episode. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna show off my big jeffy ears. Anyway, we're playing uh, Bucky O'Hare. <laughs> Thumpy boy. Thumpy because his legs. Damn it, come on. Focus so hard on this. <sighs> I am focusing so hard. Oh, there we go. Fucking. F I was like, what would happen is if you jumped up and shot, it would have done it after he threw it. These guys are immune. Oh. To being shot. Because how are you supposed to know that in an NES game? Yeah. <laughs> For one board, they're not, and the next board, they are. Trial and error. Literally, we're playing Bucky O'Hare to pander to the furries. Hits also why I have a human pup on my show. Which, well, we should also not forget that there's probably, and I'm gonna pull up my phone, there's probably some decent Bucky porn out there. Not as much as I'd hope. Actually, I've looked this up, and not as much as I'd fucking hope. Um, but you're forgetting about things like U18 Chan and stuff, which has a dedicated Rule 34 thread, and sub-threads in that. <sighs> oh, I see those. Okay, now I understand. Now I'm playing with power. <laughs> Nintendo Power. Power Hour. I bet you I can just Google it. <laughs> Probably a lot. Just go to Rule Thirty Four dot. I just Google Bucky O'Hare porn. Yep, it's all the it's all the of course it's all female stuff. Yeah, it's all Jenny first the first mate. Her head is fucking giant in all these pics. Hey, yeah, hey, that's the pic you should. <laughs> <laughs> Sublink. Hey now. Hey. Look up Bruiser or Bruce. I'm getting there. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Ew. There's no. Ew. Isn't that a child? Yeah, it's a child. That's short of porn, technically. Oh. Uh, now this I can get down with. Some kind of Conan. Style. Yeah, I got, I got, you, you got some like barbarian ishness going <laughs> but on I like there. I like how I said what I googled, so now every one of your viewers is looking at the same pictures as they scroll. What? <laughs> oh god, this isn't even related. That's it's not, not even related. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Here's here's what it links to. Which first? Which character first got you interested in Anthros? Sweetie, I know you don't watch the show. This is not the first time we've like stopped watching the show and looking at. <laughs> no, I on know. Phone. I know, but still. That's a, it's always a good thread, too, because that shit will go on for, like, three years on, like, U18 mm. or F-Chan. Yeah. And it's like, what's your first uh, furry crush? And uh, there's some good fucking porn on that stuff. Oh, yeah. Mine was Beast from X-Men. Um, And so, his big, thick blue boy and his fucking Speedos? Fuck yeah, that's my fucking wheelhouse. My my thing, mine was a progression because when I first was a furry, I was a deviant art furry, so it was it was like safe for work. It was all like, I loved um, Blue Aurora or something. He drew a lot of really good digital paintings. Aurora does do a lot of blue hues, doesn't she? In this show, the good kind of Aurora. <laughs> the good Aurora. <laughs> um, but it was I was really big into like deviant art, and it was all this safe for work stuff because deviant art didn't even allow porn back then. And, uh... The porn was implied. No, it was, like, legit. You would get taken down back then. This was, like, 20... 
2007, 2006. And, um, after that, I think a lot of furries discovered this one first, was Zen, the artist Zen. Yeah, oh, God, he probably does stuff with anymore. The, with the, like, it, it's almost like MS Paint, because it's like the, like, 0.2 millimeter uh, pen brush work. Yeah. And it all there, comes out really good. I'm so old, I remember most furry artists using fucking color pencil. Yeah, traditional art, but like he was like one of the first ones that were like going off so far as to do digital, but it was like done in everything is like this two millimeter pencil or digital pen, whatever the fuck. I'm not an artist. I tried to be, but I suck at it. Um, Zen, uh, Star Fox Born. Like, I grew up with Hanna Barbera. Snagglepuss was weirdly enough for the longest time one of my favorite, like, um, it was just my role model. <laughs> mm hmm. And, uh, Exit you're gonna stage you're gonna left. You're gonna no, I'm not. Drown. You're gonna drown. Two picks. Oh, never mind. But yeah, I'd have to now, say. Now the spikes are a problem. I'd have to say the first thing that got me into being a furry, an absolute furry trash, was first time. Zen Star Fox porn. Zen Zen was uh, Firefox. Because think about it. Um, not, not the browser, the furry artist, Firefox. Because after you find that stuff for Star Fox, you start finding the uh, Robin Hood Fox stuff. Yeah. And here's the thing. Speaking it, of furry porn, look at this chick. <laughs> we can croak all the toads. She, that's, oh, my dick. that's actually a drag queen. Bitch, with those with that eyeliner and those lashes, of course she is, bitch. And a big she ass accessor rhinestone on her face. Yeah, she fucking accessorizes. Come on now. Red now, planet! No, God, God damn it, no. So this okay. is going to be four episodes? This so that's going to take a two episode? Right? <laughs> God. But it's funny when you think about, like, upcoming furry generation. They probably started with oh, Zootopia. Here she is. Yeah. And they're going to discover stuff like Robin Hood. Well, the fucking, the fucking Zootopia coloring book had the... Write your, uh, draw your own, draw yourself as a zoo citizen. But remember, there, that was the thing. There was, after that movie came out, there was a distinct number of people, especially on DeviantArt, that were like, no, we're not furries, we're zoo sonos, we're zootopians. <laughs> they were drawn in the weird pointed style of Zootopia. It's like when a fader calls herself a demisexual, I'm like, those are just words. Those aren't words. things. You're just a slut. <laughs> No, she's no, she's a she's a demisexual. She's not a slut. She's the opposite of a slut. Demisexual means you have standards, basically. Whereas aphasia, aphasia's a not not to be shamed, but she's a slut, and we love her for it. <laughs> but and I could agree with that. I, too. I do. Well, yeah, I hate not that. I could agree with the the periods of asexual, just being ace. Yeah. And it goes up and down. And that's what happens with your bipolar. Well, yeah, well, we've mentioned your bipolarism on the show before. I know. <laughs> I've seen that. Well, and it's like, because no one in this house is neurotypical. We all have a... have, uh, have Like a, I said, you collect strays. <laughs> and what stray doesn't have problems? Have you ever gone to an animal shelter and they're like, here's this perfect dog? No. <laughs> no. And like, you know, I've known you for a decade. Same with genocide. Look, other than Jenna, you are the second person on the show that I've had sex with. I call bullshit, but okay. No, like, I've only had sex with you and Jenna, as far as people who have been guest commentators. Guests, not cast, okay. <laughs> well, I have not said, I haven't had sex with Estelle. See, are you, are you dying, or are you stopping and thinking? <laughs> I'm dying, and that now. makes me stop. That looks like a fist. Like the fucking Hunter S. Thompson peyote crushing fist. Crushing your fucking soul. It really is. It's right here you keep dying. You really suck. You're so bad at this game. I if told I you I hate this so level! Bad. See? If I fucking... I'm like... I'm like Game Grumps. If I criticize you, you get ahead. Mm-hmm. Aaron, Aaron, come on, You Aaron. suck. Ooh. You're gonna die. You just... You suck. It's gonna shoot a fireball. Nope, see? There, see? Well, see, the fireballs don't do shit to me. It's a, it's falling in the lava pit that the kills me. Being told you're shitty... <laughs> makes you prove that you're not. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. Not everything has to be coddling. I respond to tough love. Ooh. Don't we know it? <laughs> I've seen your YouTube comment section, I know. You haven't seen my, my monstercub.com porn either. Uh, I've seen the screenshots. <laughs> how much did they pay you for it, by the way? Uh, 150. That's not a lot. 
Well, no, it was a one-off scene. But they're still making money on it, is my point. Yeah. It's not like you have a... Well, in right, the... What, what is it called when they when you get pennies for every time... Uh, ro- royalties. You still get check, royalty checks. <sighs> we were literally at the last fucking quarter inch of that fucking screen. I think that was the first time I saw it where it was just like, end. Just give up. There's no continue or anything. It was just like, give up. <laughs> Because if you get hit by a fucking fire, one of those fireballs, it stops you dead in your tracks and you fall into the bit and it's auto death. I don't, I don't but yeah, I done porn. For those of you who, who haven't seen that episode where I talked about, yeah, I did porn before. Oh no, I was I, was, I, 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 I these guys were there. But... I was not young and needed the money. <laughs> that was in Seattle? No, that was uh, before I went to Seattle. So you needed the money to get to Seattle? Basically. Was that before or after? I can't remember. It's been... I thought it was after. It was probably after. It was like... Is it bad that like five years ago is like so long ago for me? Well, here's another thing too. Is like you can look at the people in the video and be like... Oh, that's... Just, nowadays you'd be like... Oh, that's the dude I know from down the street. I like, only... Everyone is a fucking bear like that video. Yeah. That's it's what I mean, they so don't... common. Uh, that's why I like always make fun of like the, those faggots are like... They did that one bear bear film scene, and they think they're hot shit in the bear community. Like, calm down, bitch. <laughs> oh my god! The thing I can't get past is how like I'm still overcompensating, thinking it's fucking ice, and I know it's not. Ooh, that was a, I was gonna say it was a bad choice because you jumped right when it was about to go. I'm about to go. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> um, bitch, you've seen episodes where I fucking snatched my wig. Fuck this! Let Jesus fuck you! Ah, oh, cr- oh god, the ceiling is covered in spikes now. Uh, can you do the controlled float? I could. Or does it just go straight up as you do it? It goes straight up as I do it. Ooh. That's the problem. Nope. See? Yep. They, they've learned. They, they've caught on to my bullshittery. They're calling you out! They're coming for my gigs. Don't let them get your wigs. Snap. I got jokes! Oh, God. <laughs> I miss Allison. I love Allison so much. Who? My, that cu- the cousin that said, you got jokes. That was me that said it drunk at the bar that oh, time. Yeah, but you said it to her. But she came to the live show. Okay, <clears throat> I was violently dying. I know. Day. I woke up and... I worked from like a 12 hour, like, medically induced coma. Pseudicals, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, just immediately was just dying physically. Shit, I should give it to fucking Willie. Or Jenny. There you go. Use them kicky legs. Kicks, kicks. So wait, what's Jenna's power? Oh, I showed you. Oh, you were too busy looking at your phone. <laughs> She's a rabbit too. Shouldn't it be kicked? She's a cat. Oh, she. Oh, okay. I couldn't gather that from the porn. Right? <laughs> Nerp. She never ever get a bussy. A pussy with a pussy? A talking cat? That will be probably if, you know, once we get a thousand subs, I'm going to start a fucking Patreon and Discord server. And one one of the Patreon tiers will be like uh, a bad movie night. We'll stream. And one of the movies we do, we'll do, will be a talking cat. I just keep hearing it and all I can think of is that Friends episode where, um... Smelly Cat? No, it was after um, Rachel was pregnant, and Ross was leaning in, talking to the baby and everything, and he was saying something like, I can't wait to hear your first words in this, and Phoebe's sitting there with, of course, it was a coffee shop episode, everything was, that whole show, they're sitting in the coffee shop, and she's like, 
What? Oh, you're talking to the baby. I was thought you were talking to her vagina. That would that's a trick. I can't wait. That's an interesting trick to do. <laughs> it's like one of the few non-racist or sexist jokes from fucking friends. See, you say that and immediately like, go, wait, were they racist? I remember the episode where they like... A little made, bit, a little I bit. I remember the episode where they made fun of how like, you don't have any black friends. And everyone was like, uh, 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 uh. Oh. And they are trying to like... Fuck me, here it comes. Be progressive. You're not going to survive this. I am not. Oh, no, fuck, fuck, no, 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 fuck, 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 you're gonna land on spikes. Spike TV. Oh! Uh, oh! Remember that fucking trash? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, unfortunately, I do. Real talk. I used to jump like that in fucking high school, and not middle, not high school, but middle school. Like, Ding! My hands are like Ding! toes down, hands out. I think because I used to be a swimmer before football. My thing for jumping was to, like, throw my... <laughs> like, you're doing a breaststroke. So I would throw my body into the jump. Hey! It's like Mario. It gives you an extra... It's like a jump, double jump in the air. You're not... How does the fire on the wall not hurt you? It's in the background. Oh my god, what a concept for NES. Right? Well, this was 92. This, this was the end of the uh, NES's lifespan. So, of course, it's pushing the boundaries of what the Indians can do. Backgrounds. First time oh, right. Oh, shit, cock. How did that not... Oh, you it your ears. Which you would think in most games that would kill you. Right? As part of your hit block. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, Aaron, that seems slightly intentional. That was not intentional <laughs> whatsoever. Off the edge. Oh, there's an edge. Walk. Jenna's already got enough enough trouble with her fucking Game Grumps comments. How do you get... Oh, because, like, people watch both shows and support them. Or, like, this, you know... Well, it could be worse. Could be well, you say that when you get in trouble, because I, I want to watch stuff like, um... Well, it could be worse. It could be Pewdie PewDiePie's trolls. Which... Well, yeah, I was saying, because there's, um... An Aggressively downvoting. There's an established YouTuber that uh, has been getting shit recently for claiming to be a cop. And, uh... I'm not gonna say any of this, but he had a—he formerly had a bounty hunting show. And it's oh. all like—it's like reality TV. It's like blatantly like what used to be on network television. Reality, reality internet. And to think it was real in the first place is fucking on you, bitch. <laughs> and then people and like the the Oregon sheriff's department tweeted out saying this person is not related to us whatsoever. He is not an officer. I was gonna say the Oregon Trail for a second. <laughs> But, uh, it's just, it's levels like that. And so, like, when you say that, oh, God, trouble, it's like, wow, Game Grumps cap came after you? Like, oh, my God. Because, uh... <laughs> no, they're... They don't respond to their, their comments, from what I remember. No, they do not. Which, which I don't blame. Which, I mean, which, like, can, you, can you imagine trying to go through every single comment which and, is, like, filter through all the hatred to, like, respond uh, to something, mm -hmm. anything? Not to say we don't read the comments here. It's just... Oh, we everyone like we well, we have so few viewers <laughs> we, well, that I mean, we can we actually read them. We, we saying, can actually like... respond to every literally every comment. And uh, yeah, we got put down. I like reading some comments. <laughs> Dead. She's not useful for this. No one is used for this. <laughs> Nobody's fucking useful. Fuck! <laughs> breathe, breathe. I am breathing through my teeth and my teats. It's my mutant power. Your bosom rises. Uh, 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 one of the times I was at um, Bear Watch in Galveston, I was like sucking dick in the pool, like under the water, and he's like, they're like, he hasn't come up for air in a while. Is he okay? He like, and they went, yep, that, there he goes. I'm like, I come up, I pop back up and go, it's my mutant power. <laughs> like, are you getting dick through? Are you getting air through our dick? 
<laughs> You're actually underwater with one of those James Bond sea of oxygen canisters about this big. <laughs> uh, how, 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 the, the rebreathers from fucking Phantom Menace. Oh, God. I was... Oh, her tail was in the fucking fire. Story of my life. So... So that's what I'm saying. So I'm going to go get the guy, the guy with the smallest hit box. It doesn't hurt the bunny's ears. But it hurts her ass. Yes. She needs that tail so you can lift it later. Which, on the Actually, argument, you could say you need the bunny for pulling his ears. To, you know? Yeah, well, trust me, I know all about ear and hair pulling. So, How would um, you know about, wouldn't it, wouldn't it just pop off? It's a wig. I don't wear wigs. This is my hair. This is my hair. I don't wear wigs. So, actually, in the comics and in the cartoon, uh, the cat chick is actually attracted to the, ch the child. Oh, okay, that's why we saw that picture. Yeah, that, it's canonical. Okay. And coincidentally, playing the child now. You played that child like a fool. Oh my god, these fucking 8-bit sounds. Fuck! Fuck! I'm glad we're doing like old school like 8-bit games on this channel now. No, <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. No, I'm not. Fuck. I, was like, I wonder how long that statement lasts. Probably the next death. When do you make it the next jump? <sighs> okay, so I gotta start over here and just fucking run towards this. Fucking, fucking run for it. Jump. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Da, 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 da. Did, I, did I say two episodes? This might be a three episode for this one planet. <laughs> you said four. I'm glad. Well, yeah, four total. See? There we go. Now I'm thinking with portals. And then something just comes out of nowhere and kills you. Well, that is the NES era. Fuck, fuck. Hey, you made progress. Here, take two steps back. I wonder how many viewers are gonna comment about furry trash and how we're degenerates and stuff. None of them, because all, all, all <laughs> of our viewers are trash. Yeah, so Sam, like, like, what room do you have? Also, how many of you have been on Peach's Guild on? <laughs> I all these fucking like talk shows inviting furries in their fur suits to be on the show. Fucking Tyra Banks. Oh my god! It is always a shit show. They, always, they always, always say the wrong thing, and their fucking editors have to include that. And I'm like, no, they want don't. to include that. <laughs> Please don't. Like, like, that's why they get the trashiest ones possible. Well, the thing is, I hate that these furries will think, like, I'm going to be p furry PR. It's like, we really don't need that. No. Like, please don't. <laughs> But they always think they have the right things to say, and like as as wide of a community as like that's like somebody going on. In the words of Bray Wyatt, anyone but you, Roman. Well, but it it were it's like it's like somebody going on television thinking they can speak for the entire BDSM community. Uh, you mean fucking Fifty Shades of Grey? Tried that shit. Uh, that wasn't even BDSM. Like every people. That, that's people just like abuse. The leather community. That's abuse. About, that was a, people in the leather community are talking about like what is this bullshit? And this is not how any of it works. I, I have never known a single person with Dom jeans. And, oh my god, these people, it was like, it was like some like, white suburban housewife's image of what bondage is like, and it's like, no. It's what she wanted from her fucking pasty ass, uh, useless life. Was he remotely close to what actually happens, even in the bars? Like, people getting put on the St. Andrew's Cross, getting fucking whipped and stuff? Mm-hmm. Well, most of, those are, most of those are what I call uh, tourists, because they're not actually in the community. Oh but they're my just, god. The people show they're up the for worst. their birthday. They're like, oh my god, this is so funny. Ha 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 So they can have something to talk about at work the next Monday. Right. This is the thing I hate, is how, like, counterculture is, like, some kind of a theme park for people to go see. Yeah. Which actually is ironic that I say that because we were talking about Renaissance Festival earlier. If you look at it when you're pulling up the directions on Google and it shows, you know, Renaissance Festival, theme park in Texas. It's like, not really. Mm -hmm. 
technically accurate, but not what I would use to describe it. Yeah, there are people I refer to as straight up Rennies. It's not a theme park? That's such a weird term to use for it. Um, that's why Sharon Needle says, this isn't a fucking costume, this is a way of life. Yeah. The technically for me, uh... <laughs> the second you stop paying attention to the game. Though technically for me, drag is a hobby. Because I'm not making a career out of it. Like most of these pol more polished queens have been doing it for like a decade. Well, like, okay. I've, been, I've been doing it for almost a year this March. But things can be between... Oh, I can't yeah. really stress balls in the way. Um, it can, there's things between hobbies and lifestyles. Like It doesn't have to be one or the other. Yeah. It's a spectrum. Alright. Alright, you <laughs> bitch. I'm gonna go for it. Nope. Bitch, you thought. I told you, no, I told you. If I call you shitty and say you can't play games, <laughs> you actually can. I'm surprised I made that, actually. Because you actually, there you go, see? Because you suck at games and are about to die. Well, I didn't think I have a big fuck-off jelly roll coming at me. <laughs> jelly roll. Bitch, that's a marble. <laughs> it's actually a cookie if, uh, what's her name, made it. All the M&M's on one side. Nope. Nope. Uh, I like how yep. you can jump on that one and it doesn't kill you, but everything else... Jump. Mm. Oh, got worth it, worth it, worth it. I need to get his power, power level up. And to get her power level up too. Well, when I start over, this, I will have her power up. Just nope. This is giving me stress. It's giving me cancer playing it. Well, there goes my. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Just like Willem said with my eyebrows, your trajectory is fucked. I got greedy, but, you know, her power level's maxed out. That's all I give a shit about now. I'm not going to this little faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pop my neck, and I can't I don't have that range of movement. You don't have that range of movement in that fucking hood? Mask. Mask, whatever. Mask or mask. Mask or mascara. Like, I was just... It's just a sad flop. <laughs> where it's like, I give the fuck up. This is not a game of who the fuck are you. It's bothering me that... It bothers me. It bothers me. It bothers me. It bothers me that you jump onto this ball, and you're like, on the... Why did that kill me? This is not kosher. <sighs> See, it's like you're not actually on top of the ball. Right. You're on the lower third of it. I'm not going to question the physics here. Probably should. How many copies did this game sell? <laughs> it actually did really well. Okay, but what about Bubsy? Mm, I don't know her. What, the, what was the... Bugsy? What, what was the one we were talking about earlier? Bubsy. Bubsy, yeah. Really sexy for no reason whatsoever. Exclamation on his shirt. Squirrel bobcat thing. Speaking of things that are unidentifiable, why, why does the giant robot case have human physical blinking eyes of human? Why are none of your bullets doing damage to it? Because I have to go like in like the fucking center. So it's, but you see what I'm saying? It's yeah. a giant robot casing monster with human eyes. Oh, that was easy. Oh, Shit. Oh, uh, I've and never beat the game. I have never beaten this level in my entire life. Well, we have an ultimate mega boss, right? No, we, we have, have four we, planets. We have four more levels of the spaceship. 
Spoiler alert for what's coming up next. Dead eye. Here's a Dead eye. That's a fucking duck. Yeah, it's a duck with a. I know like three people that would lose their yeah. shit. Just Dead eye here. Yeah, a toad blaster, which I just licked it from a toad arsenal. Awesome. That's how he sounds in the fucking cartoon. But, yeah. but, but pointing out that the three people I know are ducks, it's like, oh, those are the furries that really had a thing for duck tails. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. It was no problem zapping around this toad rocket pack. Zoomed right out over the toad wars. He's like, isn't he's, he's like Bronx and Cockney together. Okay, but isn't your father British? You yeah. do a British accent. There are 50 different British accents, sir. There are five different accents in London. Oh, yeah, we're getting kidnapped. Oh, the, the giant spaceship covered in herpy pustules. Uh, those are toad warts. Thank you. Warts. I oh, forget those. Dude, we all went through, like, the, most of us, uh, almost 30, went through the same kind of sex ed class, and it's like, you forget how many fucking STDs there are. Yeah. Because the only, like, three that can matter now are herpes... Uh, Syphilis. Gonorrhea. No, gonorrhea is, gonorrhea is making a comeback. Because, <laughs> like, you're super gonorrhea now. It's oh, like, Jesus. It's, it's, it's antibiotic-resistant one. It's antibiotic-resistant yeah. gonorrhea. So, and herp, well, I think because, like, herpes is the one that you can't get rid of. No. So it's always... Well, so with HIV, but, you know, you can be... But now you can take PrEP and everything, and there's, everyone's like, oh, but you have meds. Like, you, you can live with mm -hmm. AIDS and have meds. Like, yeah. yeah. You're not yeah. dying from, you're living with AIDS. The problem is, it's, it's, it's the money to pay for the treatment. Right? I mean, I don't. Well, I have psoriasis. I'm sure you've seen it on my hands and stuff on the camera, but like. No, it's good pussy lighting. <laughs> but yeah, but, uh, like any anything they determine to be a pre-existing condition in healthcare, it just shoots your fucking rates up like. Like hell. prep can like be really expensive, and the people who own like but the remember, fucking prep patent is to prevent. Yeah. So if you have it, but also, that's a different regimen of meds to take care of it. Yeah, but also like when you have it, you can also prevent transferring. Yeah, but I'm still saying like having it is a thing to consider a pre-existing condition. And yeah, your insurance rates are just fucked. Well, there was that time when the fucking um, NIH was under Reagan. Uh, the nickname that they laughingly called themselves was not interested in homosexuals. That's why they didn't put any funding towards AIDS research. Because it, it was a gay disease. Yeah, and then towards the 90s it was all like, well, you're either a junkie or gay or... It was like, or poor. It was, it was a downside lifestyle. Yeah, and it was looked down upon. Like, people like... like the people we want to live don't have AIDS, so we're not going to fucking support it. And the South Park reminded us all... <laughs> as long as you have money. That, no, South Park reminded us all that you can have a shitty fucking doctor give you the wrong blood transfusion. Yeah. I think a lot of us grew up in South Park, so like we, we know that the world's pretty fucking fucked to start yeah. with. Like, it's just... Oh, God. Not to like advocate a specific show or something. No, because we also not a sponsor. Rick, we also watch Rick and Morty. When they when they finally get around to doing a season, <laughs> Rick and Morty their card game will actually play on tabletops and bottoms as well. I still love that uh, Adam Carolla, Adam draws comic where it was like, let me think of something absolutely horrifying to put on this pumpkin. Rick and Morty fans, when they don't get their orange sauce, it was the text of that on the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Prison Break. Prison Break. Starring Wentworth Miller. Which, interestingly enough, in a comparison, because I was going to say how they put the the jugs of the Szechuan sauce on eBay, mm -hmm. they sold for thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um, the clients at my work had the, what are those called? The, like, leaflets for the program that you're about to see. A pamphlet? For a funeral. No, it was <laughs> like a leaflet for the funeral. Oh, a program? I, I guess, I... essentially, yeah. But it was like a thing. The... the paper they give you so you can show all your friends in your corporate world. Oh, you I went to McCain's funeral, and these things were selling for like two or three hundred dollars on eBay. So you can give like fucking uh, uh, profiting off someone's fucking death. Well, but I mean, it's like those were actually limited. It's, he was a senator, presidential candidate and everything. It was, a big, it was like a person, a well-known person. Problematic as he may have been, he did some good stuff in the end. Well, but the big deal was that like 
<laughs> I didn't see that coming. But it's just crazy the things that people will consider to be a uh, collectible. And like, yeah, sure, says so Watch Loss on one end, <laughs> funeral pamphlets on the other. I mean, here's what I have as collectibles. I have the fucking ramen box packs oh of Final Fantasy Dissidia. Meanwhile... I have this shit. This is my collectible shit. <laughs> the fucking ramen cup noodle shit with the Dissidia packaging. That's much, That's in my fucking file folder next to me on my computer. Okay. That's he's, much of a faggot I am. says this, but then it's like, I think if you get another, what, 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 uh, 200, additional 200 by the end of the month, do a video showing what our entire first floor of our house looks like. Do oh. a walkthrough of what our house is. And just like, collectibles, collectibles, collectibles. I will... Entire, out, yeah, you know what? out of this bedroom is an entire, like, seven, eight-foot bookshelf array of games, books, and board games. All right. Between tabletops and bottoms, 500 subs, and 1,000 subs for the movie, at 750 subs, as part of What the Tuck, I'll give you a tour of my house. Well, the first floor. We haven't figured out the second floor yet. We're I still, have. like, arranging that. So. The, the, the lounge is set. The so. lounge. Uh, the lounge. There should be... It could be a little more together, I guess. But it's, it's, mostly it, the first floor is all yours anyways. Because all your guests will be on yeah. the first floor. It's only private bedroom guests that see the second floor for the residents that are up there. <laughs> the residents of evil. Oh, Here's Jenny. Are we having a Resident Evil-themed... Uh, brunch soon yeah because the uh remake is almost about to come out oh my god and you should have seen how uh specific somebody was acting about getting green ketchup oh i know <laughs> she was so proud when aphasia showed me that shit <laughs> i was like you mean you you mean three dollars extra for ketchup you could mm -hmm. have added green food coloring to so if we just stand here she can't hit us worth shit are you exploiting the system madam no, there's a reason why this is a fucking hidden level. Uh, not a hidden level. Exploiting like, the system, madame. I took a quarter of my health to get here, bitch. Shut madame, the fuck up. Damn, bitch. <laughs> I like how you kept shooting, even though she hasn't been down there for a while. Well, she'll get Somebody's down here eventually. Drunk. See, now she. I, I Shoot your girlfriend to get snap her out. Don't do that, no. I lost myself in a hypnotic beam. An A hypnotic. You said that was not just NES bad an typing. An A hypnotic beam. Yes, it is. Because we played enough of those games. This is her power. I can control it with a D-pad to home in on shit, which is good for hitting shit that's uh, up above us. I'm up above it. Not worth it. What are the quick ones to do? They fall. You know what? YOLO. <laughs> What's a story, Mark? I still have biscuits out there. I know, I saw them. I was eyeing them. I was I fucking... I because I was thinking, like, I'm hungry. <laughs> you know what I've eaten today? Biscuits! I've had... Biscuits. <laughs> I've had... A bowl of cereal. And, if, and three oranges. If you haven't sent this to your followers or anything, you should show them the mentality of a dog in the house. The, <laughs> the biscuit. picture of the whiteboard when I got drunk one morning and I was like, you oh should, god, we only yeah. have three cans of biscuits left. I want biscuits. <laughs> As I got progressively drunk, because I say morning because I work nights. I got progressively drunk that morning and kept rubbing biscuits all over the fucking board. And they're like, do you mean you want biscuits? And I was like, you don't understand. I need biscuits. You are obsessed with biscuits. I need biscuits. Well, because I grew up like... I can't do that on a keto diet. It's all carbs. Well, but that's the thing. Well, I need Atkins. I couldn't be on an Atkins diet. Because they're like, here, have a fucking Ziploc bag full keto of Keto is the new Atkins. Huh? Keto is the new Atkins. It basically is. But, um... Because I grew up, I grew up with, like, biscuits and gravy as, like, a staple. So if you wanted like a cheap, quick breakfast or whatever, you'd have a big slew thing of biscuits and gravy. It's so fucking filling. It's so good. Now all I can think about is fucking biscuits. <laughs> bitch, bitch, same. Biscuits. 
Biscuit. Oh, get mascots. Oh, Where did that no. come from? What the fuck? Oh, it's that Mega Man bullshit of the disappearing platforms. That will fuck you up if you jump into them. Uh oh. But the thing I can't grasp is that like there's no like indicator that that's where they are until they appear. Exactly. Like there's no ghost line like on uh, the SNES Mario games. They give you the invisible outline, so you know that it might be there at some point. You just have to figure out the timing later. Or we can just do this shit. Uh, you won't get high enough. Yes, I can. Bitch, you thought. I thought you were going to the gray, not the, uh... Oh, no, yeah, I was nowhere... There's no way I was making that. These little abortion rays. <laughs> feed us, delete us, feed us, delete us. What is Mario... Be useful, there you go. What Thank do you. the Mario Brothers think of <laughs> about abortion? Mario, well-constructed, you know, pro-life argument. <laughs> Luigi, eat us, that feed us! <laughs> I fucking love those Mario memes. They're still not as good as the Dark Sesame Street. Oh, yeah, the Burt Strips. Um, my favorite ones, my absolute still to this day favorite ones, are the ones that showed up after Hurricane Harvey, where it was like... Which Ernie we survived Max through. <laughs> huh? Which we survived through. We lost our this first house This had to, to survive so much harder than me because she couldn't live for 12, 26 hours without her video games. I had no, I had no power for four days. Yeah. Uh, four days, no power. And I was all like, and she like was talking about how she was breaking down because she hadn't played a video game. I was like, don't you have a DS and a PSP and you have a way to play a game? No, no. It was the closed beta of Dissidia that I was, that I was missing. And this shows how out of touch I am because I haven't played games in so long that like, uh, I was just like, my immediate thing was like, I need to go get cigarettes. My immediate concern was like, I need to go get cigarettes, mm -hmm. get a fucking candy bar. Like, I, I still play fucking Civilization, mm. Sid Meier Civilization on my phone when I'm like that level of Jesus bored. Jesus Christ. It's something. It is, it is a thing, I will admit that, yes. It's not even a thing, it's something. It's, you know, some I just realized figure out. I'm going to have to actually add a new playlist folder called Furry Pandering. Which I have yet to say anything other than talk about porn, which is almost... Well, like that's, that's 90% of why I'm... I was going to say, if you ever talk about anything furry, it always it boils down to some form of porn, and... Yeah! It's a community of like-minded people. No, it's, it's porn. She's going off into Oprah. It's, I jerk off to it. It's yeah, all I do. Yeah, that's the thing. Like-minded people. People who are obsessed with porn. People who want to fuck Robin Hood from the 60s. And Nick Wilde from... That's 20. the new generation. Yeah, most... I don't... I don't know the age of those, those assholes. 27? Hey, what furry now doesn't want to fuck the schnock? It was a yet. kid's movie from less than five years ago. Yeah, and who... And what 30-year-old grown-ass adult doesn't want to fuck the snot out of him? I mean, he's a bit small for my taste. I'm not the fucking Mr. S my favorite... There's this... There's this... Mr. Man Show, that the does, um, He takes all the Disney edits from all that stuff. Chief Bobo. And then he adds... He, uh, like like Disney goes punk that mentality yeah and he takes it and he does punks them all it's like he has done porn of them like that hmm. with like the tattoo thank you did I maybe caught at the top and... his face got even worse okay he has the teeth so he has a lisp too <laughs> can we just talk about how his, how his mouth was like an asshole I'm sorry through the mask it sounded like Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> Which, I, I never wants to make fun of it, but I'm like, I actually really like the fucking voice, because it's actually kind of awesome in the, like, in the, like, Monty Python sense of, like, looking at things. Yeah. Shit. Yes, NES physics. The block is here. Uh -huh. You're over here. Fuck. <laughs> you still died. That didn't work in my plan. Two. One, two. No, there's three. four of them. One, two, three. There's four. Because then it's one, two, three. By the way, this is the f furthest I've ever been in this fucking game. 
It's probably are as they, far as we'll are fucking they get. made of ice too? No, they're just made of bullshit. Uh, oh, I was too greedy. But it looks like you're sliding on them. A little bit. A little bit. So if I tell you that you really suck and you can't get past this part, you're actually not going to be able to get past this part. No, I'm not. But it didn't work this time. <laughs> Negative reinforcement. That's what I keep thinking of. I pressed the wrong button. Fuck! I pressed the dumbest of the charge button. I really thought these lights would be disorienting as fuck. But no. I have a diffuser on them. Diffuser. Like the oil diffuser in our living room. Yes. And in the lounge. Apparently if I just bump my head scrapely against the fucking spikes, it kills me too. Well, yeah. There's a giant spike going in your head. But the spike's going down, not going that it's way. Just patch, patch your heart, not stab your heart. I fucking weed cap. I didn't even Jesus. fucking try that time. Okay, try this drunk and in opera gloves and without your glasses, bitch. Oh, oh no. Let go. I did let go of my mortal fucking glove. <laughs> like, like, that, like, like that image of Zelda. Let go. I <laughs> love that image, actually. I feel like... I went too soon. Never mind. <laughs> I went too soon. I knew what I was doing, but I went too soon. You finished early? You would know. <laughs> I went too late. I was a post-mature ejaculation. There's no comeback for that because it's uh, like come on your back. I make fun of you or I say something that's incredibly TMI. But... <laughs> that's a, those are our viewers at this point. Everyone knows my sexual hijinks in this show, and I think we want to call it here for an episode. We hope you had fun in uh, joining us for this uh, abortion of an do episode. The do the plug. I'll do the plug. The butt plug. Like, comment, subscribe, and remember at 500 subs you get Tabletops and Bottoms, a new game with drag queens drunkenly playing board games. We'll start with Killer Eyelashes. Thousand subs, the movie. We play Night Trap in a huge slumber party setting. Uh, 750, I'll show you my house. It's a new thing we came up with. It's a t it's, it'll be a, w a special What the Tuck episode. Anyway, have fun. Have a good night. We love you. Bye. Bye.